Okay, so this is going to complete your notes that were given to you for measure of central tendency and range. So the example that you were given for number one is example one has 21, 21, 28, 29, and 28. Okay, so the first thing I need to do that it's asking me to do is find the mean. The mean is the average where I take and I total the number, the, I, tell, I total the numbers in the data and I divide by the, the total number of numbers. Okay, so if I add 21 plus 21 plus 28 plus 29 plus 28, I get 127, okay? 127 is not my mean. I know I could just uh, common sense wise look and say 127 does not fall in between 21 and, and 29. It's nowhere even close, so I know something's not right. I still need to divide by five. One, two, three, four, five. I have five data points. Okay, so divide by the number of numbers or divide by the total number of data points. So now I have to take 127 and I divide it by 5. I get 25.4. There's my mean. Now I have my median. The number one thing I need to know about my median is that I must put my numbers in order. So I have 21, 21, 28. 28 and 29. And my median is my middle number, which is like the median of the row, middle number. So I start and I cancel out. One, 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 one. My middle number is 28. Okay? 28. Then I have my uh, mode. That is the number that occurs the most. Now, there are different philosophies on how to do it if you have two numbers that occur the same number of times. My thought process is if, it, if they occur the same number of times, not one occurs most. However, you could put that your mode would be 21 or 28. Okay, those could be possible modes. Okay, so we see how these are different. Okay, they're different, 25.4, 28, 21.25. And then we have range. Okay, so we'll have range that we will use. Okay, range. And there we take the highest number, which is 28. And I know that because I, or I'm sorry, which is 29 because I put those in order. And I subtract 21 and I get 8. Okay. So what we're going to talk about is determining which point, which time it's you it's best to use which part mean median mode or range. Okay. So then now let's go to your next example. Your next example is example two. Example two, and you have 20, 25, 23, and 27. Okay, 20, 25. 23 and 27. Okay, so to find the mean, mean, I add them all together, I get 95. I divide by 1, 2, 3, 4 data points. Okay, and I'm going to get a decimal. I get 23.75. <clears throat> now I do my median. Okay, my median. All right, my median is the middle, so I order them 20, 23, 25, 27. Okay, now here's where things get tricky. If I count in, I get to the middle and I don't have anything. So I have to determine what number falls between or directly in between 23 and 25. In order to do that, I find the mean of those two numbers. In order to find the mean, I add those two together, 23 plus 25, which gives me 848, 
and then I divide that by 2, which gives you 24. Now, logically, you could look at that and say, well, the number that's between 23 and 25 is 24. Now, if they're larger numbers that are further apart, you may not know that. Okay? So, you would add the two together and divide by 2. That's if you have an even number of data points. Okay? This is for even number of data points. All right, so no matter what, if you have an even number of data points, you will have to do that. So let's see. Let's look at and see if I can find my mode. 20, 25, 23, 27. Do I have any number that occurs more than, one, uh, more than any other? No. So I have no mode. And then lastly, I have my range. Okay, my range. Again, my range is the distance from the lowest number to the highest number. So I take my highest number, which is 27, and I subtract my lowest number, which is 20, which gives me a range of 7. So my answers consist of mean 23.75, median 24, mode, no mode, range 7. And again, if you have an even number of data points to find the median, you need to take the average of the two middle numbers when put in numerical order.